Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I'm going to show you Project Refresh Android 13 custom ROM and if it is stable enough to be used as a daily driver on the OnePlus 8 series devices and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. My OnePlus 8T now runs on a custom ROM named Project Refresh which is built on Android 13. Checking the about info section shows that the Android version is 13 and the ROM is Project Refresh and the Android security patch is updated to 5th Feb 2023. Although this video does not provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to install this custom ROM on OnePlus 8 series device, please leave a comment below if you require detailed instruction. This ROM comes with minimal bloatware ensuring a smooth and fast experience. With high stability and snappy performance, the custom ROM is ideal for users who value speed and reliability. The ROM is designed to be daily driver and all of its basic functions work flawlessly. The custom ROM offers excellent connectivity with flawless Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, VoLT and calling capabilities. While the fingerprint sensor and face unlock work perfectly fine, they may be a little bit slower compared to another Android 13 ROMs out there. As an Android 13 based ROM, this ROM offers exceptional features such as material U theming, updated UI animation, one handed mode, privacy dashboard, etc. All the features work smoothly without any hiccups or glitches. This ROM passes the safety net test out of the box, allowing banking and payment apps to function properly. It also has a wideband security level of L1, which allows for HD streaming of Netflix and other streaming sites. While the ROM provides an AOSP camera, it may not meet everyone's needs. However, it is easy to install a Gcam on this ROM because the option of camera and gallery app are not included. Check out how to install a proper Gcam on Android 13 in the video linked in the i button. For gamers, this ROM provides an excellent performance with 90 FPS in BGMI without any lags or frame drops. Leave a comment if you want a full gaming review. Again, with no significant drains in the battery, the ROM performs well in terms of battery life. The average screen on time is around 6 to 7 hours without heavy gaming or other battery intensive activities. This ROM offers a wide range of customization options and let's have a closer look. The options are spread across different tabs for easy accessibility. The Network tab offers customization option for the 4G icon and network speed. In the apps tab, you can find the option for unlimited Google photo storage. The notification tab also offers customization option for heads up light and edge lighting. The battery tab has option for battery icon settings. The display tab offers various customization options for lock screen settings and option to force a 90 to 120 Hz refresh rate. The device extra tab has customization options for alert slider, touch screen gesture, ambient display gestures, high brightness mode, etc. Despite having fewer customization options than other customization ROMs, this ROM is pretty much stable and is a good option. Finally, this custom ROM is highly impressive due to its exceptional speed and responsiveness. However, the lack of oxygen or support is a notable drawback on this ROM at this moment. Nonetheless, despite the issue, the ROM remains highly stable and is recommended for all the users to test out. There are several other custom ROMs available such as Nameless and CR Droid which offers better features and functionality. That's all for this video. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.